Good morning, everyone. It is dark 30 and raining and foggy 30. It is going to be trying for the next hour or so, possibly, because I've noticed it is really hard to see the trail today. Uh, went just a couple tenths of a mile up the side trail from the shelter. Uh, once I start descending, that fog will probably disappear a little more, but obviously the rain and everything makes it a little tough too, but the, it's more of the fog than anything up here. Uh, so for the most part, I'll be able to see the trail. When I start descending on rocks, it's going to be the uh, possibly the challenging part just because the rocks are going to be wet. It's well above freezing. I slept really well last night, nice and comfortable, believe it or not, in my tent. Just a little damp. The hard part is putting everything away and not getting everything wet as you're putting it in your backpack uh, more than what it already is. So things will be a little damp for tonight, but it's going to stay above freezing, so that's good. And I'm as high as I'm going to be right now, and it's still about, about 35, 40 degrees, so somewhere in there. But yes, it will be challenging today for sure. This, I mean, this morning especially, just because it's dark and hard to see the trail, so I can't go super quick. And then descending from the priest is quite rocky, so I'm going to take it nice and easy and still get down as quick as I can and stay on the trail <laughs> uh you're like oh well why don't you start a little later because i was awake <laughs> and i wanted to get going because it's going to be a rainy day the weather has changed again and now it's supposed to be a good chance of rain for most of the day which is great don't get me wrong i'm not super happy to be hiking in the rain all day but super happy that there's a good chance that will take care of those fires in shenandoah which I'm 30 miles away from. So not the fires, but Shenandoah. So I want, would like those to be out so I could continue through Shenandoah and not have to skip around anything or find alternate paths, but also for the local people who live there as well. You know, their homes and their livelihood and just their breathing in general. <sighs> so going to uh, put this phone down now and uh, continue on this dark and foggy trail this morning and three ridges will be coming up in a few miles let's conquer today about a mile down the mountain the fog has finally lifted or i've went down past it <laughs> everyone look at that and it makes it a lot easier i could see the trail pretty decently but you could definitely see it better now which is important because there's a lot of rocks that you have to step over and on. And when they're wet, you don't want to slip. You definitely don't want to go too fast. But now it can go a little faster to get down this thing. All right. It's going to be a great day. I think I'm breathing fire. <laughs> it's not even that cold. It must be because of the mist or the fog. It's making all kinds of steam or smoke come out of my mouth <laughs> definitely got into a part of the trail it's a little easier to see now and not as rocky still roots and rocks because you're still going down somewhat steeply uh, it is a steep descent but there's also flat parts as well so it gives you a little reprieve once in a while you're not just breaking your knees the whole time <laughs> but uh should probably be down and then within the next hour or so and then i start climbing again for three ridges, but by then, obviously, it's going to be light out. So, I love my dark, dirty hikes. So, very peaceful and uh, serene, even when it is foggy and rainy and sometimes windy and the terrain is wet. <laughs> Taking it all. Oh, here's a really nice view up here, it looks like, that we can't see. But I'll show it to you anyway. Cause I'm cool like that. <laughs> See that view? Isn't it beautiful? This is the Thai River. After you descend from the priest, before you start going up the three ridges. And this is a suspension bridge. I cannot say it right now. Suspension. 
what the heck, suspension bridge, there we go, <laughs> that crosses the Thai River. As you can see, that floor is made of wood. It has been raining, it is wet, and it is slippery. So Fortune went across really slow, which makes it move even more. <laughs> I'd rather just go across fast and get it over with because it messes with my vertigo and everything. But I got across it just fine. In part due to on the other side of Thai River is a parking lot. And then the other side of that parking lot, I got some trail magic. A lady by the name of Rebecca who does a lot of trail magic out here. I guess her and her husband. Uh, and then I, another through hiker also. I uh, met another gentleman out there as well that I met last year here at Thai River uh, that was out there with, with her as well in a different vehicle. But they were both out there and he was asking if I needed to ride into Waynesboro or anything. And I said, nah, I'm going to continue on. But Rebecca made me this great breakfast sandwich with bacon and egg and cheese and mayonnaise and lettuce. It was delicious. And her and her kids, when I say kids, she's a teacher. So she could only meet me here to give me this before school today. So that was awesome that I was able to get down in time to be able to receive this trail magic because the thing about starting this early you don't see much trail magic uh the bubble you know you have all kinds of people setting up in parking lots and offering food to hikers and such and you don't see that near as much up here because there's obviously just not many of us uh there's a lot of days i'm all by myself don't see anybody so uh it makes sense why would they want to set up to feed one person <laughs> unless they were just wanting to help that one person out well rebecca and her kids in school I guess I've been following me, so they're going to be happy that she was able to catch me and give me that. But she also had picked up some things from the, that I stayed on the videos that uh, I eat a lot of, like donuts and combos and all that good stuff. I got some carrots and stuff to pack up my bear can, uh, stuff that's already been eaten, so that's awesome. Uh, thankful for the trail magic. Uh, she was mentioning to me that... Uh, she, and I hope this is okay, <laughs> uh, I know she said it was okay to mention her on YouTube, but she has also lost a child, so it hit home with her and connects with her of what I'm doing out here, and she also, uh, suffers, I don't like the word suffer, lives with osteoporosis, so again, something that hits home with her, I'm very thankful that everything was able to happen. I didn't think it would, to be honest. There for a minute with the rain and the fog and everything, I didn't think I'd get down in time because I knew she had to take off and go to uh, her school to teach the kids. But uh, I'm glad it worked out. Thank you very much, Rebecca. I appreciate what you do for me and all the other hikers out here throughout the year. Uh, it just shows the heart of the hospitality and hospitality of the South, but not just the South, but the Appalachian Trail in general. Much appreciated. And it's little things like that that put a little pep in the step and drive those 25 mile days, 26 mile days. The food, the fuel, just the compassion that people can give uh, to those of us out here doing this, especially doing it for a reason because the journey has a purpose. Thank you for being part of it.
went up quite a bit after Ty River. And now it's going down a little bit to probably this creek I'm hearing gushing below me. And then it starts climbing the first of the three ridges. But it's a little bare spot here. As you can see, it's fog all around. Has been pretty much since I left the Thai River. There was an opening over there, which I'm hoping that opens up again because that's the priest. And wow, did it look cool because the clouds and fog was like on the lower half or right in the middle. So you were above the clouds at that point. So I'm hoping once I get up on top of the three ridges that I can see you know those great views because those are always epic in every way when you're above the clouds rain or shine it's beautiful so looks like uh some bareness here until i start climbing again and uh then to climb three different summits all together which is called the three ridges i mean it's not three summits all together <laughs> it's one summit boom you go down you hit the other summit boom you go down you hit the other summit nice bit of rocks if i remember on the first one if i remember right uh it stopped raining for now i don't know if that's going to continue to be like that or if it's going to be more when i get up high but i'm kind of hoping i get a few hours of dryness here help dry out a little bit because i'm pretty soaked everywhere uh unfortunately a lot of the stuff in my bag is damp at the least so it'd be nice if i got some stuff dried out before tonight but worst case scenario uh at one of the roads before rockfish gap which is the beginning of Shenandoah and it goes into Waynesboro. Worst, worst case scenario, I can get off today and go into Waynesboro today and then just get dropped back off tomorrow at the same spot and continue on instead of doing the Nero tomorrow like I plan on doing. So basically just doing the Nero a day earlier. I'm gonna try not to do that though because then that's more shuttling than what I want. <laughs> if I just get to Rockfish Gap, I'm right there at the edge of Waynesboro, and it's real easy to get a, a shuttle, especially if I stay with Stanimals again, which is the same one uh, that was in Glasgow. They have one in Waynesboro. So if I stay there again, their shuttle will come pick you up at no charge. And I prefer no charge because things are expensive enough out here. Oh, trying to, that's why I'm so thankful for the trail magic today. Every little bit of resupply and shuttling and lodging and everything you need to buy every couple of days just, just to survive, <laughs> it adds up quickly. All right, here's some good water. I'm going to resupply my water, even though it's hard to get to with the rain cover on <laughs> when I'm walking. But that sure does look beautiful, doesn't it? Nice and refreshing, even though it's falling on me. <laughs> And then I'm going to start climbing up these summits. Let's do it. Raining again. Ha! You say gross. That's wet. So do I. But I also say goodbye, fire. Woo! All kinds of campsites right there. Nice little area. I don't need to set up camp though.
wet rocks are dangerous rocks. Definitely don't want to rush. Then you put leaves on some of them. <laughs> and then you got roots in there too. And those roots are even slipperier. Ugh. Step right over that big rock. <laughs> uh, slanted rocks kind of suck. Uh-huh, that fog makes you think you're at the summit, but you're not. It went down for that little bit, well, flat, and then went down, and it was wide open, and now it's going up again. Still 0.3 miles to the summit of Chimney Rock. That's a big step. <sighs> Getting a little toasty out here. <laughs> Humid. Standing on the summit of Chimney Rock. No views to see, but I'm just fine with that because I'm up here on the summit. I had to earn that one with the wet rocks and roots and rain through half of it. Not raining right now, but really thick fog and clouds make for a very muggy feeling when you're climbing. Ah, but like I said, I had to earn that. I guess that's the chimney. <laughs> it's thundering. I can hear it. Ah, but Chimney Rock is in the bag.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> up above the clouds now. Not a whole lot of views up here, but we do have this one. And that, my friends, is the priest. Awesome. Wow. I love being above the clouds. Wish there's more views, but there's a couple more viewpoints on the dissension of three ridges which is coming up shortly, but it's all wooded in itself. That is awesome. Guys, I'm getting really close to the summit of three ridges here. I do want to correct myself because I believe I stated it incorrectly earlier. And I think I made the same mistake last year. Three ridges, Chimney Rock, and then the mountain after three ridges, which is called B Mountain, are actually three different summits. They're not the three that make up three ridges. Three Ridges is its own mountain, uh, from my understanding. Uh, I don't know why it gets in my head that those three make up the Three Ridges. They do not. They're all three separate mountains. Uh, so I'll get close to Three Ridges here, which is near 4,000 feet. Not quite. It's like 39-something. Uh, I believe, and I'm going to check on this uh, next chance I get... <laughs> I believe the priest is the last 4,000 foot mountain until like Connecticut or Massachusetts. So uh, we might have some that's close to it. <laughs> this might be the last one, three ridges. I don't know. But, uh, not that it really matters. Summit's a summit. <laughs> and depends where you're starting and how much you're climbing because a lot of times those shorter mountains are more intense than the bigger move mountain movies. <laughs> the bigger mountains. Uh, so it's all relative, but I, after B mountain, not B movie, <laughs> don't know why I keep wanting to say movie there, uh, will be descending into a place called Reed's Gap. I'll then be being picked up by a shuttle driver, uh, for Stanimals Hostel in Waynesboro. And I'll be going in today instead of tomorrow for my Nero. I think it'll be about 18 miles a day. If you want to count 18 miles as a Nero. <laughs> it's my kind of Nero. It'll be about one o'clock. So it gives me all the time I need to eat, wash and dry my clothes, dry everything out, resupply anything that I might need going through at least the first half of Shenandoah until I figure out if I could keep going in Shenandoah or how I need to do that. And I'm at the halfway point based on today's weather. I'm hoping a lot of those fires are out. But it is supposed to rain this afternoon, off and on, like all day. And thunderstorms, which I've been hearing thunder for the last couple miles. So I'm just trying to get down to the gap to get picked up before that happens. I don't want to get caught in any rain, but I definitely... Do not want to get caught in any storms. That is for sure. So I'm going to try to get up and over three ridges here. And up and over B mountain. Goodness, I keep wanting to say B movie. <laughs> which is just funny. <laughs> I don't even know why. Uh, I haven't seen a movie in a couple months. <clears throat> anyway. Try to get down to the gap. So you can see kind of blue skies there. But that's because I'm above the clouds. It might actually get sunny today. A lot of times when there's thunderstorms in the area, that's what happens. Cloudy sun, cloudy sun. So, uh, if, even if it turns sunny for the rest of the day, I'm still sticking with my decision of going to Waynesboro. Because I've already made up my mind on that. I already had the shuttle driver meeting me at a certain time. So, going to do that, get everything dried out. And be ready for Shenandoah. Get my permit and everything for Shenandoah. Uh, still climbing three ridges though, but I'm right here at the summit within like 0.1 miles. So continued on. It's time to come. Standing on the summit of Three Ridges Mountain, all socked in with trees and mostly clouds and fog. 
but there is a little bit behind me here above the clouds but you can't see anything you just see a little blue sky <laughs> uh, but still feels good to get to the top of another almost 4,000 footer and that sun is shining through up here look at that might get put back in the clouds here in a little bit as I start descending this one going towards B mountain but right now I'm here to celebrate the fact that Three Ridges Mountain is in the bag. The easiest trail I've had all day. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about this at all. Not going down, not going up, hardly any rocks, hardly any roots. Just nice, soft, wet dirt, flat. <laughs> Standing on the summit of B Mountain. I've never jogged up the majority of a mountain before with a full pack on. That was invigorating. <laughs> Wore me out a little too. I'm breathing a little heavy, but it's all good. It's all descent from here. <laughs> oh, I felt good. But B Mountain, all socked in with trees, but beautiful. Views of the rocks, the trees, and the fog. B Mountain is in the bag. Well, it's raining again. My rain jacket and rain cover is already off though. And um, I don't know, half a mile or a mile from the gap where I'm getting picked up and brought into Waynesboro. Ironically, coming from B Mountain, <laughs> it was not all descent like I thought it would be. I felt like I just kept going up and up and up for like a mile higher than where I was on B Mountain. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Must not remember doing that before. But uh, now I'm descending and I should be at the gap here shortly. And uh, hopefully the uh, shuttle driver who's driving a Prius, that's all I know. <laughs> I don't know who it is or what his name is. But hopefully he hasn't been waiting there too long. Uh, I don't like to make people wait. And I'll probably be like five minutes after when I thought I would. Mainly because I've had to stop, you know, for, or not stop, but get slowed down on wet rock and such. So you'll have that. And I'm sure whoever that shuttle driver is, is aware of that as well, that that's gonna happen sometimes. So I'll be there shortly and in the town of Waynesboro getting some food in me and getting my clothes dry and all my gear dry and uploading these videos for y'all. I'll show you some of Waynesboro if I think about it. I've said that before and then I end up not doing it because when I get into town, I get so busy doing all the things I have to do. Sometimes I forget to record some things for y'all, but hopefully I'll remember today. Oh, now you're just gonna lay there and stare at me. You've been up here this whole time. And now that the camera's on, you're just gonna pose. Uh-huh. <laughs> this dog is so adorable. Was jumping up and down, going <laughs> Like he's a little puppy. So cute. And now just gonna lay there. Camera shy, huh? Okay. You're still cute. So I'm here at Stanimals in Waynesboro. It's the uh, same uh, Stanimals that's in Glasgow that I just was at a couple days ago, except uh, this one's in Waynesboro. Uh, but here's the room where I am. I'm over on that bed. This is all actually my stuff. It's just all <laughs> spread out drying right now. Nobody else is in here. Some chips I need to eat later. <laughs> uh, but there's a, that's a bathroom there. A couple more bunk rooms here. Really nice place. 
is coming down the mountain. Oh, I'm sorry, just walking down the stairs. <laughs> it's like a common area. Cute little doggy, just part of the hostel. You're just a nice little doggy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Kitchen, common area, coffee in the morning. They do pancakes uh, in the morning for the hikers. As you can see, I'm not much of a touring guide. <laughs> Just showing you how nice the place is. Real nice place. Uh, definitely check them out sometime if you're coming through. Real nice and clean. You can tell they definitely take care of keeping everything nice and clean. Hey, I actually met Dob. Dob last year on the first shelter of the AT. And he finished last year? Finished last in August. year. Yeah, in August. Cool. He ran into him again here. Uh, Finn was around here somewhere, but yeah, he's went to food, eat that guess. Same thing I'm going to be doing in a few minutes, but here's the outside little uh, tiny house out there that I guess they can rent out or they not rent out or whatever you want to say. I don't know if think rent is the right word, but lots of restaurants around. There's a Walmart down the road, a Walmart uh, grocery store. And uh, over here, I think there's a family dollar somewhere ice cream, lots of fast food, Mexican restaurant, which is probably where I'm going to go eat. But uh, definitely check them out. It's a very clean place. One of the cleaner hostels on the trail. Uh, very affordable. The one thing I will definitely say, killer Wi-Fi, killer power and speed, which is a big deal to someone uploading YouTube videos. Stanimals in Waynesboro. Check them out when you're coming through. So I came to stand a boss Hustle in Waynesboro Got me some food And I washed and dried my clothes As I walked around the town In my big load of clothes So now me and this dog is Just chilling here Living without any care Yeah, I'm staying in Waynesboro. Yeah, I'm staying in Waynesboro. 